Hi guys, how you all doing? Today I'm back to share with you another completely factual tier list. I did one on the starter Pokemon a long time ago, and this time we're moving on to a much more spicy topic, the main series Pokemon games. However, before we get into this tier list, this video is once again sponsored by the team behind Pokemon Masters, DNA. If you're up for a completely different Pokemon experience, with your favourite Pokemon characters, as well as being able to battle against them in 3 vs 3 real-time battles by exploring the island of Paseo by yourself or with other friends using the game's co-op mode, then Pokemon Masters is the game for you. DNA were kind enough to give me an early look at some of the updates that are now available in the game, with two brand new sync pairs you can recruit, being the Kanto champion Red and his Charizard, as well as Cygna suit Elisa and Rotom. Alongside this, the main story of the game has expanded with three all new chapters, as well as the Battle Villa, an all new one player gauntlet style game mode for even more single player action. A link to play Pokemon Masters will be in the description and pinned comment, or simply search for Pokemon Masters in the App Store or Google Play Store. Thank you so much again to DNA for sponsoring this video. Alright, so let's go over how this tier list is going to work. There are these six tiers. S means it's good, A means it's good, B means it's good, C means it's alright, D means it's bad, and the bomb one is the worst. I'm gonna go in order of when the games came out, so obviously the first will be Pokemon Red and Blue. So, Red and Blue, obviously the games that started it, not including Red and Green, of course. I'm talking about Red and Blue here. Pokemon Red may have been very glitchy, and of course had the smallest decks of any Pokemon game. But disregarding all of that, it's still a classic. A great soundtrack, even if it is limited to the Game Boy sounds. A fun story to follow. And at the time, it was a great game. I personally really loved Gen 1, although I do love all the Gens pretty much. So overall, I think I'm going to put Pokemon Red right here. B tier, I think, is solid. As for Pokemon Blue... Pokemon Blue sucked. I didn't like it. Worst tier. What a bad game. Anyway, Pokemon Yellow. Not too different from Pokemon Red. You had Pikachu as your starter that followed you around, which was cool. You got access to all three starters. I don't think it was quite a step up as the other third versions are. So overall, I think I'm going to put it in the same tier as Red. Still a solid game. Next up, we of course have Generation 2, which is arguably a step up from Generation 1 in almost every way. Gold and Silver have to be two of the most beloved Pokemon games ever made, and for good reason, acting almost like a sequel to Red and Blue. These games pretty much added to the first generation, with almost everything acting like an upgrade. New characters, new Pokemon, a new story, hell, the Kanto region was even in these games. And to top it all off, you get to fight the protagonist of the first Pokemon game? There's almost no reason why someone would prefer Generation 1 over Generation 2, when, as I said, Gen 2 is pretty much an upgrade in almost every way. It was the defining generation for a lot of people, so for those reasons, I have to put Pokemon Silver in the A tier. A pretty amazing Pokemon game overall. Pokemon Gold, on the other hand, was a massive letdown. I didn't like this game at all. Bomb tier for me. As for the third version, Crystal? Similar to Yellow, it was an upgrade from Silver. But overall, I say it was just a tier better. So, Crystal was going to be our first S tier main series game. On to the third generation of Pokemon, here's where some of the less popular opinions will probably start. This was unfortunately the generation I skipped, mainly because I didn't have a Game Boy Advance at the time to play them, but I did eventually play the third generation, just a bit after they came out. Ruby and Sapphire are among the Pokemon games I have the least amount of time in, but I still enjoyed Ruby overall. The choice of two evil teams instead of one was cool, having your dad as one of the gym leaders was a nice change, and overall, a very solid Pokemon game in my opinion. I know some people would put it slightly higher, but for me, I'm going to put it in the same tier as Red and Yellow. And then Sapphire's going here because Sapphire sucked. Emerald on the other hand, I enjoyed Emerald a lot. A lot more so than Ruby. So much so that I honestly think it might be one of the better Pokemon games. The Battle Frontier was an amazing addition, 
The change to the story involving both teams is really cool, so for me, Emerald is going to join Crystal in the S tier. What a great Pokemon game. Now for the first remix, we have Fire Red and Leaf Green, which in many ways are just improved versions of the originals. Fire Red was Pokemon Red, but better in a way. I will say I did prefer how the soundtrack sounded in Red. I think the Game Boy sounds just complemented the music more than the Game Boy Advance, but everything else is pretty much better in Fire Red. The inclusion of the Sevi Islands was also great, the additional characters they added as well, so Fire Red pretty much has to go in the tier above Red. I don't think anyone would argue with that. And Leaf Green was terrible, so we're just going to put it to here. And here we are. Let's talk about my favourite generation. Playing Diamond for the first time was incredibly special for me. I managed to find an American copy, so I played the game a couple of months before it came out in the UK, and it's one of my favourite Pokemon memories to date. Objectively, Diamond might not be one of the best Pokemon games, mainly because the game is very, very slow, for example, but I still really, really love it. So I might be a little bit biased, but I am going to put Diamond in the A tier. Still really love it. Oh yeah, and um... <clears throat> That sucked. Ah, uh, Platinum. Uh, yeah, let me just um, put Platinum up, uh, up there. In fact, no, hang on. There we go. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, Soul Silver. Considered by many as the best Pokemon game overall. Like Fire Red, essentially an upgraded version of the original easily in my top three favourite Pokemon games, personally. It's also a game I could easily go back to and still enjoy. The Pokeathlon was so much fun, and carrying over the Battle Frontier from Platinum was also a great choice. Overall, I think we can all agree, Soul Silver was pretty much a masterpiece when it comes to Pokemon. Easy S tier. Uh, Heart Gold sucked, so let's move on to Generation 5. This was an interesting one. I remember feeling a bit weird when I first played Pokemon White. I may not have enjoyed it quite as much as Generation 4. I did find the Pokemon a bit weird at first, but overall I think it's a solid Pokemon game. I was debating between the A or B tier, but I'm I'm feeling pretty generous, so I think I'm going to put it in uh, the A tier. Uh, you and the hand up going here. Uh, now, as for the sequels, here's the thing. You think that Pokemon White 2 would also follow in White's footsteps and go somewhere in the A tier. But no, White 2 sucked. Black 2 on the other hand was the superior sequel, so much so that a lot of people consider it the best Pokemon game overall. It's definitely not my favourite, but it has a lot to appreciate. The enhanced story, the world tournament at the end, just so many great decisions made for this game. When really thinking about it, I think it does belong in the S tier, if we're being real. Moving on to Generation 6, uh, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Pokemon Y. This is probably the Pokemon game I had the most hours in, mainly because I did a lot of breeding. It was my introduction to competitive. Yes, the post-game was quite lacking, but still a very positive experience with this game. A tier for me. Next up we have Auras. Personally, I think it's probably around the same tier as Ruby and Sapphire. They did add a lot to the game, but the game was pretty easy. So overall, even though I enjoyed the games a lot, not among the best Pokemon games, definitely not the best remakes. So Omega Ruby also beat it, and Alpha Sapphire was a trash. Generation 7. Well, when I first played Pokemon Sun, I thoroughly enjoyed the main story. However, I do think the game hasn't aged as well as it could have. It's not really a Pokemon game I see myself going back to nowadays. And a lot of people do consider it one of the weaker Pokemon games for good reason. The change from gyms to trials was an interesting decision, something different, although I do much prefer gyms. And I do think this is definitely a game that's much better when you first play it, and then going back to it might not be as good, but I still had fun with it, so yeah, it's one of the weaker Pokemon games for sure, but I still enjoyed it, so C tier. And Moon was trash. Ultra Sun! I found a lot of people put Ultra Sun and Moon as some of the weakest Pokemon games ever, more so than Sun and Moon, when if you really think about it, they're actually better versions of Sun and Moon. I mean, think about it, it's essentially Sun, but with some added stuff, like the Rainbow Rocket stuff. So you can't really put it lower, so for that reason I'm going to put it in the B tier. And Ultra Moon goes here. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. 
if I'm being real, I really enjoyed these games. I mean, again, they're enhanced versions of Yellow, essentially. You get all these Pokémon following you, completely different main series experience, yeah, no wild battles is weird, and obviously had the go-catching mechanics, but once you get used to all that, it was a very, very enjoyable game. I personally really loved it. Solid A tier for me. Uh, not Let's Go either though, because that game sucked. And finally, on to the latest Pokémon game, Sword and Shield. Now, there's a lot of controversy when it comes to these two games. However, I already thought they were pretty great when first playing through them. Shield was extremely enjoyable. But then the added DLC that is coming to the game, I think are going to put these games even higher in terms of how good they are. So, this might change in the future, I might put it slightly lower, but for now, I honestly think Shield is among one of the better Pokemon games, especially with what's to come in the future. We may not have access to all the Pokemon, but it's still overall a great Pokemon game, and a game that all Pokemon fans should experience. So, Shield is going right up here. And Sword's going right down here, because that game is trash. So I guess this is my main series game tier list. Obviously I took this list extremely seriously, with every tier. Now even though this tier list is done, I'm not going to end the video there, as I found out that this site has other Pokemon tier lists that I want to partake in. So consider this a bit of extra content for the video. So here's my starter tier list that is more or less based on the starter tier list video I made, which you should check out if you haven't seen it yet. And of course with a new batch of starters out, I figured that I should finish this list, with Gala starters included. So if I were to add the Gala starters to the starter tier list, the tier list would look something like this. Uh, Score Bunny is uh, going right up here, and as for the other two... Uh... Uh... Yeah. So this is my complete starter tier list. I think it's uh, relatively accurate. So moving on. Next up we have a Pokemon Go team tier list. Now out of all the tier lists in this video, I know for a fact that this one, no one can debate about, is going to be 100% true, 100% accurate, so here's the list. And there you go. Like I said, 100% accurate, 100% true, you can't argue against this, without question, no opinions, complete facts, I'm right, you're wrong, next tier list. Next up we have a Pokemon movie tier list. Here we have all the Pokemon movies, well not all of them, some of them aren't listed, but I will be listing all of them, or at least all the ones that matter anyway. I personally think I have a pretty good order for this list, so uh, let's get into it. Alright, so the first Pokemon movie goes here, uh, Pokemon movie 2000 goes here, uh, third Pokemon movie also goes here, uh, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew can also go there, um, uh, I choose you, yeah you can go there as well, uh, oh the Temple of the Sea, the Pokemon Ranger movie, that can go there as well. Uh, and then you can go here, 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 you can go here. Uh you're going at the bottom. Uh yeah, they're all bad. Okay, you guys aren't gonna believe what I just found, but on this site, there is also a Pokemon YouTuber tier list. I mean, sure, there's loads of YouTubers missing, but still. This is hilarious, a Pokemon YouTube- I- I don't even think I'd be able to do this, I can't rank- Like, I know a lot of these people, I'm friends with a lot of these people, I can't rank their channel- Nah, I- I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do this, I- I feel really bad if I were to, like, rank them. Again, I like a lot of these people, so I think I might just leave it there. And that's gonna be it for this tier list video, I hope you enjoyed. I may do something like this again sometime in the future if you guys liked it. That is, if I can find another- fun tier list thing to do. But until then, one more quick shout out for the sponsor. Thanks so much again to DNA for making this video possible. Don't miss out on recruiting Red and his Charizard, and Cygnus Suit Elisa and Rotom, as well as trying out the Battle Villa and all the other stuff Pokemon Masters has to offer, with even more cool features coming soon. Check out Pokemon Masters if you haven't already in the video description, pinned comment, 
or searching for the app in the Google Play Store or App Store. And if you did enjoy this tier list video and would like to see more in the future, please do leave a like as it does help the video out, subscribe for more Pokemon videos in the future, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.